Hey guys, Rob here with Buffalo Countertops and Crafts. This week I'm just going to put out a vlog. I'm kind of in the middle of a lot of projects and none of them are done enough for video. Uh, I was hoping to have a project video out this week, but nothing's complete enough for video. So I'm just going to go over a few of the projects that I'm working on um, in various stages and show you around. Uh, first, I got this uh, whiskey flight or beer flight or succulent holder. It could be uh, just about anything. It's not quite complete. I still want to do some kind of shaping to the bottom here and to the sides. And I'm going to uh, make some little feet to go on the bottom here. And uh, give it a final sanding. I also have this week I cut out the slot for the router table and um, the router can go in it. I started on the fence. The fence isn't quite done yet. It's an auxiliary fence that's going to attach right to my regular fence. That can slide in. I still have to add uh, some back supports. I'm going to do a dust collector on the back, or a dust port, and a split fence front. So I'll, I'll do a little bit more work on that. This is a little sample I was making of the Burnside stool. Um, still needs support here. It's just out of MDF so that I can figure out the angles and the sizes um, and adjust them as I need. I, I think I'm still going to do a support in the front here and the same su support I have here I'm going to do on the back. That way I can do a weaving pattern going from here to that support instead of having to do anything to this. Uh, right now this is 19 inches high, I think it's 18 by 15, or 18 by 12. On the floor here, some pieces to a mitered frame, which I'll be making for my wife. The grooves are already in them, they're somewhat painted, they still need to be mitered and assembled. My son was making the Egyptian water box based on Steve French's design. Um, it's not finished. Just it pretty much is finished. Just needs um, an added feature. And um, there will be a video of, of that of my son building that coming out later. Way over here. Is the spring pole lathe. Double spring pole lathe. Based on Roy Underhill's design. Which is done but not complete. I was getting lazy, I was getting bored, ah, I was getting tired of waiting and instead of buying the proper poles, I made some out of oak, which is too soft and flexible. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't spring back with enough power. To... And also, I guess you can't really see it. I used the same rope for here as I did on this side. Rope doesn't work real well for this side because it stretches out and loses its um, tension. It, it has to be something hard like metal wire or something that's not going to stretch out or change. 
Uh, so I need to change this rope to metal wire and get some stiffer poles. Um, I did test it out and it worked but not great. Once I make those few changes I think it will be all set. And hopefully I'll make a video of uh, using it. Um, this week I was trying to get the video out on this, on this um, flight. But that didn't happen. I'm going to try to get this out next week. And um, I'm not making a video of the router table or the fence. That's something I was just putting together in the shop. And the picture frame, I'll have a video of the picture frame. I'll have a picture, a picture of this flight and the water box. And I will have a video of the lathe. I might do two parts on the lathe. Not sure yet. I will be making some cutting board a cutting board video, just a, a simple cutting board out of solid surface. It works great for cutting boards, it's 100% acrylic, no glue, up. you just have to cut the size, sand it, and you're good to go. Um, I'll be batching out a bunch of those and I'll probably make a video of that. And that's it for now. I'll see you guys next week.